In today's episode, we will be making an LED battery level indicator without using a microcontroller. This LED battery level indicator can be used with all types of batteries. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use a voltage comparator LM339, its basic working principle, how to set the trigger voltages to show the exact charge percentage, and then how to make a final circuit. The same circuit will also be used in making a stabilizer which I will show you in upcoming tutorials. So watch this tutorial from start to the very end. Let's get started. I searched for a random battery and downloaded its charge versus voltage table. As you can see in the table, at different voltages we have different charge percentage. As we will be using LM339 voltage comparator IC which has 4 outputs. It means we can connect 4 LEDs or relays. If you want to display all the 11 levels, then you will have to use 3 LM339 comparator ICs. But I will use one IC to display 4 levels, 0%, 40%, 80% and 100%. Let's start with the data sheet of the LM339 voltage comparator. This voltage comparator can be powered up using 3 to 36 volts. It has total of 14 pins. Pin number 1 is the output 2. Pin number 2 is the output 1. Pin number 3 is the VCC which will be connected with a supply voltage. In my case, I will be using 12 volts. Pin number 4 is the inverting input 1. Pin number 5 is the non-inverting input 1 and so on. All the pins are properly labeled. As you can see clearly LM339 has 4 comparators 1, 2, 3 and 4. The output of the comparator number 1 is available on pin number 2. The output of the comparator number 2 is available on pin number 1. The output of the comparator number 3 is available on pin number 14 and the output of the comparator number 4 is available on pin number 13 while the supply ground will be connected with a pin number 12 and 12 volt wire will be connected with pin 3 LM339 is a comparator IC with 4 inbuilt comparators a comparator is a simple circuit that moves signals between the analog and digital worlds it compares to input voltage levels and gives a digital output to indicate the larger one. The two input pins are termed as inverting V- and non-inverting V+. The output pin goes high when voltage at V+, is greater than that at V- and vice versa. In common applications, one of the pins is provided with a reference voltage and the other one receives analog input from a sensor or any external device. If inverting pin V- is set as a reference, then V plus must exceed this reference to result in high output. For inverted logic, the reference is set at V plus pin. For the best understanding, let's have a look at the Proteus simulation. U1A, U1B, U1C and U1D are the four inbuilt comparators. These four comparators will be used to compare four different voltage levels. The plus input is the non-inverting input and the minus input is the inverting input. Five 10K resistors are connected in series which makes a voltage divider circuit and gives me four different voltages which are connected with the inverting inputs of all the four comparators. The voltages on the inverting inputs of the comparators will be used as the reference voltage. On the left side we have a variable resistor which can be considered as a battery as you can see it's connected with the non-inverting inputs of all the comparators. We can increase and decrease the voltage. This voltage would be compared with the reference voltages. As you can see the voltage on the inverting input is 2.4 volts while the voltage on the non-inverting input which is coming from the variable resistor is 2.4 nine four volts so voltage on the non-inverting input is greater than the voltage on the inverting input that's why the output of this comparator is high and the LED is on the difference voltage set on the second comparator is 4.8 volts so the voltage available on the non-inverting input which is 2.94 is not greater than 
4.8 volts so that's why the LED is off if we start increasing the voltage when the voltage on the non-inverting input is greater then the voltage on the inverting input the LED turns on and if we keep increasing the voltage then the other two LEDs will also turn on the purpose of using 2N2222 in PN transistor is that we can upgrade this circuit at any time. We can use the same circuit to control LEDs, relays, etc. As I plan to use the same circuit in a stabilizer and for that I'll be needing relays. So that's why I added 2N2222 in PN transistors. As you can see the emitter is connected with a ground and the collector is connected with the LED cathode side and the LED anode side is connected with a 1K resistor. This is a current limiting resistor and is connected with 12 volt. All the connections are exactly the same. I use the same connections on a breadboard and it's working perfectly as you can see I can compare the voltages and can turn on and turn off the LEDs at certain voltage levels. So far, we covered the basics of how to use a voltage comparator, what is the purpose of inverting and non-inverting inputs, and when we get a high output. As you can see, I have marked four comparators with 0%, 40%, 80%, and 100%. If we compare these voltages with the voltage values in table, we find that the LED indications are completely wrong. Our circuit is working perfectly. We only need to set the trigger voltages. For this we have to make a slight change. Instead of using these resistors in series, we will use four variable resistors so that we can individually set the reference of voltage of each comparator and that's it. As you can see I added a variable resistors and set a reference voltage as per the table. Now by increasing and decreasing the voltage, we can trigger the LED at an exact voltage. Now let's practically make this project on a Vero board. First of all, insert the IC base into the Vero board and solder all the pins of the IC base. As you can see the pins are soldered. This is a variable resistor which will be used for setting the reference of voltage. The voltage can be increased and decreased by simply rotating this knob. The 12 volt and ground of wires will be connected with the rightmost and leftmost pins, while the middle pin will be connected with the inverting input of the voltage comparator IC. Let's first of all fix these variable resistors onto the Vero board using a silicon gun. First apply solder to the pins of the variable resistors. As we will be needing the ground and 12 volt connections for the IC and all the variable resistors and voltage dividers. So for this we need to make two common lines. One for the ground and the other one for 12 volt. Let's first do it for the ground line. First apply some solder. Now to apply solder onto the wire, the easiest way is to first uh, apply solder to a copper plate or piece. Then take a stripped wire and apply the solder. This is the easiest and fast way to apply a solder. Now simply solder this wire. Now you can take multiple ground connections from this line. Now the same we will do on the other side for the 12 volt. As you can see a 12 volt line is also ready. Now we will connect a female DC socket so that we can easily supply the voltage using an adapter. First apply some solder to the pins of DC socket. Now strip the red and black wires. Apply some solder. 
and then solder these wires uh, with the DC socket. Now let's connect the ground wires uh, with the variable resistors. Now let's connect the 12 volt wires with the variable resistors. So now as you can see the 12 volts and ground wires are connected with the variable resistors. Now connect pin 12 of the IC which is the ground pin with the ground line. Now connect pin 3 of the IC which is the VCC with 12 volts line. Now we will connect wires with the metal pins which will be then connected with the inverting inputs of the LM339 voltage comparator IC. Now connect 5 wires together. 4 wires will be connected with the IC non-inverting inputs and the 5th wire will be used as the voltage input wire from the battery. So the red wire is the 12 volt wire and the blue wire is the ground wire. This is an empty space let's solder these wires over here. Now solder these wires with the non-inverting inputs. As you can see the variable resistors connections with the IC are completed. As you can see these four pins are pens. These are the output pins of the IC which will be connected with the LED's driver circuit. Let's solder 4 wires with the outputs of LM339 voltage comparator IC. Later we will connect these 4 wires with the LED's driver circuit. As you can see the 4 output wires are ready to be used. First of all, insert two N222 transistors in the Vero board and solder all the legs. As you can see, the legs are soldered. And check the short circuit using DMM before proceeding to the next step. Now bend the legs of all the resistors. Now connect 10K resistors with a base of two N222 NPN transistors solder its legs 
and also solder the legs uh, which we just bent. Then I connected four LEDs on the collector side of the transistors and used 1K resistors in series with these LEDs. These are the 10K resistors connected in the same way as explained in the simulation. The red and blue wires will be connected with 12 volts and ground. Now the output wires of the IC will be connected with the 4 resistors connected with the base of 22222 transistors. So now as you can see the soldering is completed, a 12 volt adopter is connected with a variable resistor. We will be using this variable resistor as a battery for demonstration purposes. And now let's set the trigger voltages as per the table. Connect the DMM black lead with the ground wire and connect the red lead of the DMM with the metal pin of the variable resistor to set the reference voltage. By rotating the knob, we can set the reference voltage for the 0% which is 10.5 volt as per the table. Now in the same way set the reference voltage for 40% which is 11.9 volts and so on for the remaining two variable resistors. So now the reference voltages are set. Now let's increase and decrease the voltage. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.